sorry. I look a mess. But I'm over here in the like guest waiting chair area in my room eating. So I have made a mess out of this night. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing okay. Thank you so much for your continued prayers and everything. Um, the reason I'm still in here is right now I have pneumonia. So every time I try to talk to you guys, I promise you something happens. Somebody comes in here. Whatever. Anyway, my CNA just dropped food all over my floor. Cottage cheese, lettuce, fruit, and I gotta be here the next couple of days, so we're not gonna do this. Every time I wanna talk to you guys, someone busts up in this room and do something to me. Okay, let me just hurry up and be quick. They redid this IV because it kept doing that. So let me just keep this arm straight and remove it again. Basically, is what they're telling me. This one is for the blood transfusion I'm finna have. I don't want to show you guys my cuts, but my stomach cuts went down a little bit, a little bit since yesterday. It was nice, big. I just ate dinner. It was delicious. It was a roast beef sandwich with tomatoes and lettuce and chicken noodles. Progressive soup. Um, no visitors today. I figured no one will visit today. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to go home tomorrow. I'm frankly tired of hearing them say that I'm going home tomorrow. And I'm tired of telling people I'm coming home tomorrow and I'm not. So what they did was they said that I have acute chest syndrome basically brewing. Right now it's a pneumonia. There's fluid in my lungs and that I need to keep doing this. And so spirometer and then go ahead and uh, get a blood transfusion and get my oxygen level back up like they want it to be. So... Do I feel sick or like I need any of these things? No, but I'm just gonna go on with what they say or whatever. So I just wanted to update you guys real quick. I had already ate lunch and dinner, so I didn't get to show you guys. If you follow me on Snap, I know you've seen it. And thank you again for all your prayers and well wishes. I'm so grateful for them. And I will talk to you guys soon. Peace. Hey guys, I am still here getting a blood transfusion. I am a B positive, so I'm getting O positive blood. So I'm ready to get out of here, you guys. I know you guys are like wondering when I'm gonna get out of here. I don't even know when I'm gonna get out of here. So it's my trying to vlog. I feel like something happens. Someone comes in. Someone knocks on the door. I don't know, but anyway, uh, my stomach is still really swollen from surgery, but I um, ran that'll go down quickly, and I can get back to work next week, hopefully, and get out of here by tomorrow or Friday. And they probably can't hear me, so I'm gonna just cut this piece short, but just wanted to check in and let you guys know I was okay and I'm still here, and hopefully we'll be out soon. Good morning, you guys. It is so I've been in here. It'll be a week on Sunday. They might want me to go home more oxygen, which I really don't care too. But I'll take it if it let me go home. I'm going for breakfast right now, and then um, we're gonna see what the situation is. these vlogs interesting but evidently I can't because I'm in the same spot same place same coffee same here but uh so yeah I am getting restless I'm tired of being in here I'm tired of being stuck in these four walls y'all know I love outside y'all know I love some of my skin y'all know I like being outdoors I just do not like being confined I'm just getting annoyed with stuff like that little stuff like okay the privileges of me talking about someone I want to that's something that I'm mad about right now because I don't have that and so it's just really pissing me off but other than that other than that I'm doing all right I'm hanging in there and trying to be strong trying to be a trooper trying not to be boring on this clock I'm on recovery back to fucking health so anywho I love you guys thank you so much for your prayers and continued prayers I'll talk to you tomorrow soon